everything that you could see in the NFL, <laughs> I've probably seen it. So it's year 17 coming up for you here in the NFL. How does that feel? It was good, man. I mean, you know, coming from where I come from, I mean, obviously you've known me since I was 13 years old. Um, it's not easy. And, you know, ever since, even at that age, I just never took nothing for granted. Like it was always, um, how do I get better? How do I, you know, move my mom out the hood? You know what I mean? So I think that was always a driving force for me. After 12 years of being in Jacksonville, you got kind of unexpectedly released. What, what were you feeling then? And then in retrospect now, being almost five years removed from it. Man. that kind of like raised my hair up a little bit, you know. Um, you know, after 12 years of, you know, blood, sweat, tears. Uh, and when I say sweat, <laughs> it's a beast out there. You know how hot it is in Jacksonville, but that was tough. That was tough for me because I was coming off one of my better years and they had picked up my option for my last year and they released me after two weeks so I couldn't go get the, the, my proper due in free agency. Like, I'm, I was pissed at that point, you know? Like, it was just, that's just, that's not what you do to somebody that's always done it the right way, always held that organization at high regard. And I contemplated retiring every other day. And, you know, after having a conversation with you, had a conversation with my mom, obviously my agent, and I just remember my mom being like, yo, do you feel like, do you still love the game? I said, yeah, she said, do you feel like you still can offer something to a team that's trying to win a championship? I said, yeah. She said, well, don't retire. What are you doing? And she was like, don't do that because you don't want to be on the couch one day wishing that you could still be out there helping the team. Talk a little bit about um, what it's like living in Green Bay, the smallest market in the, in the NFL, but one of the most storied franchises in all of North American sports. Everybody there eats, sleeps, and breathes ball. Oh my God, this is my first one. I'm so excited. It's absolutely electric. Just Go Pack! Go Pack! For some reason, the universe keeps placing me on teams that is not a lot around. And I think that has kind of propelled me to play as long as I have. To be named to the UCLA Athletics Hall of Fame is something that will forever ring in the halls. And I'm very proud of that. And um, it's just a tribute to, you know, the hard work that I've been, been able to put in um, my teammates that, you know, helped put me in positions to make plays, my coaches that believed in my ability to lead a team. And, um, you know, that's something that I'll never take for granted and something that, you know, I'll always be proud of. The NFL veteran also has a passion for music. Mercedes says his passion for music runs deep. It goes all the way back to middle school in Long Beach. He recently started DJing and he credits his music mentor, DJ or tour with helping and guiding him to hone his skills off the field on the ones and twos. He says they both love old school hip hop and he says if he was stuck on a deserted island, all he would need is his music. So you're closer to the end of your career than you are the beginning. So what does life after football look like for Marseille Blitz? Life after football looks amazing for me. Um, I've dedicated my life to the game of football for over half of my life, if you think about it. Like I've been playing for so long. So it's been important to me for the last seven or eight years just to continue to connect, um, utilize my relationships and um, continue to build uh, for life after. And I've been able to do that. You know, if, if I could give any, any advice to, you know, the younger guys that are coming up is, you know, the NFL is a, a, a trying sport, both physically and mentally. Um, at times you're gonna feel used. Um, there are gonna be a lot of highs and a lot of lows, it just comes with it. Um, but always give your personal best, understand that it's not always about you. Um, and, and just grind like you're on a one day contract. 
meaning that if you don't give your absolute best at whatever it is that you're doing that day, you can't renew your contract for the next day. And that's something that you need to sign personally every day when you wake up in the morning. I've been able to do that. And um, here we go, year 17.